Dobré dopoledne, vítáme vás na online festivalu Pěstuj město, který pořádá organizace Kokoza. Scházíme se tu poprvé dneska, je to druhý den festivalu, poběžíme až do neděle, je tady spousta přednášek a různých webinářů na téma kompostování, komunitních zahrad. Dneska se budeme bavit později mimo jiné o tom, jakým způsobem propojení s přírodou pomáhá naší psychické pohodě, životní pohodě, jakým způsobem pracují firmy s těmito tématy, co jim to přináší, jakým způsobem můžou těmto tématům pomáhat a podobně. Dneska tady teď od 11 hodin začneme s příkladem ze zahraničí, protože jsme si pozvali speciální hosta z Francie, vrchního kompostáře, jednoho, jednoho z kompostářů, kteří jsou profesionálními kompostáři dokonce. Už za chvíli vám, vám tady odprezentuje, jakým způsobem přistupují ke kompostování ve Francii, konkrétně v Paříži, jednak na svém osobním příkladu, protože on sám zakládal ve svém domě jedno takové místo kompostovací, ale i obecně, jak funguje kompostování v městě Paříže, protože ta municipalita v tomto směru je poměrně aktivní, bude nám říkat nějaká čísla a podobně. Je tu se mnou i Sonja Houšbová z Kokozy, ahoj Sonja. Ahoj, dobrý den. Která nám taky potom ještě přiblíží svoji vlastní zkušenost v Paříže, budeme si i s naším hostem povídat o tom, jakým způsobem třeba načerpat ty informace pro, pro kompostování a komunitní zahrady tady v Praze, co se může Praha od Paříže naučit. Celá ta přednáška, nebo respektive ten webinář, bude v angličtině. Já teď za chvilku přijdu do angličtiny, ať se s naším hostem přivítáme. Připomenu, že v Livestormu se s námi můžete i povídat. Je tam možnost jednak takového chatu, druhá můžete pokládat i přímo otázky našemu hostovi i nám tady ve studiu v hale 40 v Pražské tržnici. Po skončení toho webináře se celý, celá ta session uloží a bude k dispozici online a to až do konce května, takže si to můžete znova prohlédnout, pokud vám něco uteče. Bude tady i prezentace, takže se na ní budete moct podívat znova, když budete mít zájem a chuť. Já už teď přejdu do angličtiny, ať tady neslušně si nepovídáme v češtině jenom. OK, so... Let me please introduce our special guest from France, Jean-Jacques Fasquel. Hello, Jean-Jacques. Bonjour. Dobrý den. <laughs> okay, your Czech is much better than my my French, so that's that's good. That's good. Uh, today we're gonna we're gonna talk about um, composting. Your own experience, personal experiences uh, from from Paris. Uh, just just so our audience has some kind of like uh, you know uh, some comparison. Like we're talking about Paris, which is about like twice as big as Prague. Uh, you're going to share some some numbers uh, about about the Parisian uh, municipality composting program. So uh, if you listen to Jean-Jacques and, and the figures and the numbers he's, he's going to present, just just so you know, like uh, what is the difference between between Paris and Prague? And uh, maybe we will try to, to get uh, some some uh, Prague point of view, look like how how many uh, composting sites are here in Prague and so uh, in which, which phase of the, of the process are we here. So Jean-Jacques, the stage is yours and uh, welcome again. So, okay, and let's go. Uh, first, thank you uh, for uh, your invitation uh, to your festival. Of course, I uh, would have preferred to be uh, uh, in person uh, on this festival, but life is life. So, um, <laughs> I'm gonna first uh, talk about uh, my uh, my job uh, because um, I am a master composter. Some people say compost master. It, it's up to you. Anyway, there is a real name in in French. It's maître composteur. And um, uh, so my job is um, um, it, it's an official job. Um, to to become a master composter in France, you have to uh, to take a 12 days, uh, 12 days course to get the, the, the diploma. And we are now um, around 300 uh, master composters in France. So we are paid to do this job. Most of the time we are paid by the city councils uh, in France. And I started uh, doing this job uh, 10 years ago. Uh, now, in this job, you are, you have, there are f different parts in the, in the job. First, of course, I am teaching people how to do compost. 
It could be some very short course, uh, for instance, one hour, but it could also do, uh, be uh, uh, one day or two days uh, course. I also uh, help people to set up a uh, composting system uh, downstairs uh, building apartment, apartment buildings, or um, it could be in schools or even also in, uh, in companies. Uh, moreover, I also advise uh, city councils when they want to develop uh, composting in their town. And I'm also uh, writing uh, articles uh, for them. For instance, I'm the community manager of uh, a specialized uh, site about composting for a city uh, council. So this is my job. Uh, um, a few years ago, uh, um, Le, Le Monde, uh, which is one of the well-known uh, newspaper in France, uh, wrote an article uh, about me, um, but especially about this job, because it was an article about the new jobs uh, in France. So master composter is definitely a new job uh, uh, in France. I also uh, uh, wrote a, a, a guidebook about uh, composting. So in French, it's composter en ville, which means composting uh, in town. Um, okay, so this is uh, this is um, my job. Uh, I could also add that uh, I belong to a, a French NGO called uh, Réseau Compost Citoyen. In English, it could be Citizen Composting Network. And we are uh, 400 uh, members uh, from all over the France. So we can share uh, uh, questions and topics about uh, composting, which is very interesting because in fact, uh, 15 years ago, there was uh, no real compost, uh, composting systems uh, in France. Okay, so I've talked uh, about my job. Now I'm gonna uh, tell you how all the story uh, began. Um, uh, so there is a, um, a mistake on this uh, slide. It's not from 2018, but from 2008. So in uh, 2005, I changed um, my life and uh, I was and I still uh, uh, live in, um, in an apartment in a big, uh, big building. In, you know, as you can see, 540 apartments in my uh, building in really center Paris. We are very close to the uh, Gare de Lyon, uh, a famous railway station. And in my uh, building, there was a former children playground it was no longer used. It's the picture on the on the right. There was um, a quite dynamic tenants association, and my building belongs to uh, public housing. And at this time, uh, oh. I, uh, uh, I I thought it would have been a good idea to compost downstairs uh, my building, but uh, it was never done before uh, in Paris. So I had to convince um, uh, my public housing uh, department to allow me to, to launch it. And at this so we are uh, on 2007 and I had to, to, to convince them. So it took me quite a long time, but finally in June 2008, uh, we launched uh, the first uh, composting uh, community composting system uh, in my uh, in my building. So we were um, uh, thirty families uh, who accepted to 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 be part of this project. Um, a master composter came to explain us uh, how uh, it, it works because at this time. I was not, uh, this was not, of course, my, my job. I was a, a regular citizen knowing nothing about uh, this. So we started uh, with uh, 20 or 30 families and more and more people uh, joined us. 
Um, so um, as you can see on this, uh, all pictures, uh, com community composting need uh, to, to work together, uh, us, uh, adults, but also uh, children. So we collect uh, dead leaves, for instance, to get some uh, brand stuff. We uh, do some transfers. We harvest the, the compost. And of course, we, we are very pleased to, to, um, to have a drink together, what we call the apéro compost, you know, some uh, uh, compost aperitifs. <laughs> Because the 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 well, one of the main points is that of course you're gonna you 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 will take care of your food scrap, but it will create it will create a social link, which is very important in in France. So today, uh, thirteen years after, uh, now we have uh, uh, nine uh, uh, containers, some uh, six hundred liters uh, wooden uh, containers. To, to deal with uh, all the food scraps of 80 families. We started with 20, between 20 and 30, and now we have 85, 85 families uh, bringing their food scrap uh, to, uh, to this place. But the compost was um, only a part of the project. The whole project was also to uh, create a community garden so as you see uh, on this slide, now we have nine uh, containers. Uh, we have a community garden with uh, 45 very small plots because they are uh, two meters by one only. We have some uh, beehive, um, actually only one, but uh, we used to have uh, three or four. We also planted some fruit trees. We have a chicken house with a we um, dug a pond, we built an aromatic uh, spiral uh, during the, um, the, 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 the um, where we could not uh, get out uh, during the, the COVID. And we have also some bird houses in this uh, community garden. You can see some pictures of, the, of this garden. So the, the beehives, we harvest once a year and we uh, distribute the, the honey to all the gardeners and compost. And uh, for the chickens, we have uh, 15 families involved in this project. And uh, there is a, an agenda, so uh, some families are taking care of the, of the chickens. On the left, the pond we, we dug during days and days. We also did some uh, urban patches uh, once. So we, we had some, uh, uh, some sheep uh, graze the grass of our uh, uh, garden. It was uh, very, uh, very nice to have uh, these sheep uh, uh, downstairs the, the buildings. But we also planted uh, things outside the garden, uh, even in the streets. Uh, on the right, you can see a, a former bathtub uh, in which we planted some uh, flowers. And in Paris, you are allowed now also to plant uh, uh, flowers uh, um, around the, the trees in the, in the streets. And also, we all uh, quite often the, the work together with a with a drink. Uh, each year, we do a, a special uh, a party uh, at the garden, and we drink, uh, sing, and eat some uh, food uh, that everybody uh, drank. So, so it did change my life uh, because you know when you live in a and apartments, uh, most of the time, you don't know uh, people living uh, beside you. And with this project, uh, I know a lot of people. Uh, and of course, some of them uh, became uh, close friends. So this is, uh, this is why um, I uh, now love so much compost. And I decided that uh, I wanted to, to do this job. 
uh, uh, starting with uh, this uh, experience that I launched as a, only a citizen. Now, this is my, my work. I, of course, um, uh, keep on uh, working for free uh, in my garden, uh, taking care of the, the compost. But of course, now I'm be, uh, I am paid to do that uh, in other, uh, other places. So um, I think we don't have the, the, the time to, to, to watch this uh, video, but I could, uh, I could copy the, the link so you could uh, uh, watch uh, this uh, very short uh, video. Um, I will copy it. Jean -Jean, I think we can. I think we can do it. Like we have, we have quite enough time. Okay. So I've, anyway, I've just copied the the, the link, so you could uh, you could uh, watch this uh, uh, small uh, video. Uh, of course, it's in French. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> So this was the, the first uh, experience downstairs um, apartment building. But I, uh, I'm also a pioneer um, by launching the first community composting site in a public space uh, in, in Paris, what we call neighborhood composting. So this other project uh, was launched in 2000. Uh, 14. Uh, so what was the idea? The idea was that uh, it's not always possible to compost uh, downstairs your apartment building, especially in Paris, because uh, we have uh, so many uh, uh, buildings with sometimes uh, no, no place, no room uh, to, uh, to set up uh, some containers. So the, the idea is to do, let's go further and compost together in a public space, in, in a public place or, or, or space. Uh, and quite close to, to my uh, building, there is uh, this uh, former railway uh, station with uh, the garden. It's a sort of public space uh, house. And I decided to, to recruit uh, some, uh, some people uh, in uh, 500 meters circle around this uh, this place uh, I recruited uh, people um, by distributing uh, leaflets in mailboxes and by um, displaying uh, posters uh, in the in, in this uh, neighborhood and um, 150 families uh, registered we were even full before the the official uh, launching um so it was uh i mean people were waiting for this um uh, people are, are are telling that it's uh they are suffering uh when they put their food waste in the dustbin and they know that it will be burnt so um uh of course every every the uh, every uh, all these families uh, were very happy to see uh, um, this uh, first uh, neighborhood composting system uh, be created. So as you know, as you see on, on the, this picture, they were queuing on the, on the first day to receive their small buckets uh, and to be uh, authorized to, uh, to drop in uh, their food waste. Uh, so this is the, the system we have uh, now. Uh, as you can see, um, containers are bigger than downstairs uh, buildings, uh, apartment buildings. Uh, in apart in when we work uh, downstairs uh, buildings, apartments, we use some six six hundred liters containers, and here we have. 1,700 liters containers, two to drop uh, the food waste and two um, for maturation. And we also have two extra uh, boxes, um, 1,000 liters to store the brown stuff that we'll use to uh, balance uh, the, the, the cost. 
So on this uh, picture, you can see uh, a lady so dropping uh, her food uh, food scrap, then mixing with a sort of kind of stick, mixing uh, her food scrap with the 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 old compost, and she will add some uh, brown stuff on top of uh, on uh, uh, what she dropped uh, in the box. On on left, uh, um, you can see uh, uh, people doing some uh, transfer when the when the the container the dropping container is full. We transfer uh, all this stuff in the maturation box. So um, we we do that when it when it's uh, when it's full. Um, it, it's we we sometimes it takes. Uh, one month or two months to to be full and then we have to transfer and again on the right we uh, share a drink because we are very happy to have done that uh, together and as you see we again also make uh, children uh, working for us while we we drink <laughs> now it's always a, a very nice uh, nice time nice moment uh, uh, together so um, so I talked uh, already talked about the the two pioneer uh, experience in Paris that I launched uh, downstairs uh, apartment buildings and um, in a public space and now I will uh, uh, also talk about uh, all the ways you can you can um, you can compost or take care of your food scrap in Paris. So uh, some figures uh, after 10 years. Why after 10 years? Because uh, as you, as I told you, I launched my first project 13 years ago, but uh, uh, the town of Paris only started to, uh, um, to do things or to help people to compost 10 years ago. Uh, one of uh, uh, an elected uh, guy uh, came uh, 12 or 11 years ago in my garden and it was sort of inspiration for him. And then now the, the town of Paris is really uh, accompanying, accompanying uh, people to, to compost. So we have in, in Paris now 600 composting systems downstairs apartment buildings. 300 in schools and 100 in city council departments. Uh, we also have now from uh, 2014, uh, because it, it's when I, I launched the first uh, neighborhood uh, uh, system, we have now 39 composting system in public spaces. And the town is also distributing uh, vermi individual vermicomposters and they, they already uh, distributed 4,000 uh, vermicomposters. So uh, when I say that the town uh, of Paris is helping to do that, they offer uh, the equipment. So we always start with uh, three 600 liters uh, wooden containers. They give one stick to aerate and mix the um, uh, your compost. They distribute small buckets, it's five to seven liters uh, buckets, and of course some guides. They bring some uh, shredded wood, or I don't know how you call that. Uh, we sometimes we call that also wood crit, wood uh, wood chips. Uh, brown stuff to balance with uh, the green stuff or your food waste. And um, a master composter will do some visits. When uh, I'm working for, for them, I come uh, five times um, in, a, in a building. The first time is to check if uh, there is a good place to do it. Uh, I mean, if everything is okay to, to, to do it. Then I come again to launch the project. So we built the, the containers 
with the people. So it's important because this cre this is this created uh, this creates uh, some uh, some link with the people, and of course I teach people uh, how to to do a, a proper compost. Then I will come again three times to check if everything is okay. And of course, I will teach them, uh, for instance, how to do a good transfer or how to harvest the, the compost. When you, you have no soil to, to set up uh, real compost containers on the ground, uh, we can also propose uh, to set up some uh, community uh, vermicomposting. So as you see, it's some, uh, some big uh, boxes, uh, 400 liters um, could, um, could be okay uh, to 15 families. And we also have a 6,060 liters uh, device up to 25 families. So we deliver this equipment, and then uh, and we also add some uh, some uh, worms. Uh, we add uh, three kilograms uh, for the small device and five kilograms of worms in the big uh, in the big device. Um, about individual vermicomposter, so uh, people will uh, register, and then. Uh, they will be uh, invited to, to follow a one hour uh, course. Uh, it's compulsory uh, because the vermicomposting is a bit technical. So it's important to, uh, to follow this uh, one hour course. They, they get the vermicomposter after the course, they, they, go, they, they, they go back with it. And then they receive the worms a bit later by, uh, by post. Um, okay, so this is what we we could call uh, citizen composting, but in the town of Paris, the city council uh, develop also other ways to take care of uh, food waste in Paris. I think there is not a war uh, between the the different systems. I think that in a big town like uh, Paris or uh, I guess uh, Prague you have uh, to, to be able to propose uh, a wide range of solutions uh, for people. So um, one an another solution is the door-to-door -door collection. Uh, it's a kind of exper experimentation uh, till now. They started in May uh, 2017 to, uh, to do it in two uh, arrondissements, uh, sort of two districts in Paris. And um, from October 2019, they add uh, another uh, uh, district. So they distribute some small buckets to everybody uh, in, the, in the district. People keep this bucket in their kitchen. And when it's full, they will uh, uh, drop um, the, the, food, uh, the food waste in a brown dustbin you know, in Paris, I, I guess it's the same in your country. We have different colors on top of the dustbins. So now we have a brown uh, top uh, dustbins. And these big uh, dustbins are collecting twice a week by, uh, by a truck. And they send this food waste uh, uh, to an industrial uh, composting uh, device to make uh, compost or sometimes only to... Uh, to, uh, to make uh, some methane, the gas. So this is, they, they tell that it's still an experimentation. Uh, I, I think that the, the amount of food waste collected is not so huge. So that's why they, they still experiment uh, the door-to-door -door collection. Moreover, developed last year um, some collecting points um, and the first collecting points are settled down at food markets. So we already have 14 markets uh, equipped. So as you see, it's a sort of um, um, dustbins and people will bring 
uh, their food uh, food scrap uh, when they when they come uh, shopping uh, at the market, and it's planned to equip uh, 60 Parisian markets uh, uh, till the end of uh, of this year. Uh, the communication is very important. That's why the 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 some people are at the market distributing some small buckets and explaining uh, how to do it. Um, they also do some special food waste collection. Um, so this is organized by the city council. Of course, they, they collect also the food waste of the market. I know at the end of the market, there is uh, always some uh, food, uh, food waste uh, uh, on, the, on the pavement. So they will collect this food waste. And they also uh, collect twice a week the food waste from city council and schools, restaurants, cafeterias, and canteens. Um, they don't collect uh, the private, uh, the, the, the food waste from the private uh, companies. So if you are a restaurant or if you are the owner of a supermarket, you can uh, pay uh, someone to, to collect. So we have a, a few companies in Paris uh, specialized in collecting uh, uh, this food waste, uh, like uh, Moulino, Love Your Waste, or Les, Les Alchemists. Les Alchemists is, uh, is the company, and they also used uh, or do some in situ composting with the uh, electric devices that I'm sure you, you know. Uh, as the, the rocket, uh, which is sort of uh, um, a, a tube uh, in which uh, you, will, uh, you, you will put your food scrap in turn and it, it will uh, produce some, uh, some young compost in uh, 15, uh, 15 days. Up, here we are. Uh, the next steps I've heard about uh, will be to have also some collecting points in the streets. Uh, we have, uh, you see on this picture, we have some uh, uh, collecting boxes already for cardboard, plastic, and so on. And perhaps that one of them could be dedicated to uh, food waste. And they also think of... Uh, uh, setting up some uh, collecting points uh, in schools. <laughs> and that's the end of my presentation. I hope I didn't make a, a mistake, uh, because as you could understand, I don't speak uh, Czech at all. <laughs> You're perfectly correct. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> OK, uh, Jacques, thank you very much. Uh, I, yeah. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned, like before your presentation, the numbers are uh, like extremely uh, interesting. We have some comments uh, in, in the in the chatting uh, room. Like uh, the, the the numbers are fascinating. What what, uh, what I'm surprised about is like the, the uh, private companies collecting the food waste from restaurants. That's some for me. That's some other level because like right now here we. we we look at composting and collecting waste all the way, like like it's some kind of like public service and we kind of expect maybe that uh, either the citizens will take care of that or the municipality and here we can see that there is a business case for that so it's it's, it's a yeah. good thing uh, to to see that in fact uh it, it's quite surprising because in paris uh all the rest uh, the um, the, the food rest the, the restaurants are collected for free but uh, but but the town is not collecting the uh, only the food waste if you want to be collected only with the food waste you have to to take a, a private uh, private company yeah we have some questions here uh, yeah. I will start with uh, kind of like practical one because uh, well, Yuri Kassel from the audience is asking about uh, the eggshells, like that he, he is hearing a different opinions if uh, eggshells are to be composted or, or not. So as a master composter, what, what's, what's your opinion on that? 
Uh, so about eggshells, anyway, uh, you know, we, all, we, we, we say that uh, the stuff which is compost, we can be composted, from uh, living, living matter. But eggshell is mineral. So it will not compost because it's already some mineral. But we accept to take the eggshells in the compost because we, we would be uh, quite uh, happy to, uh, to get the, the calcium of the eggshells in our uh, compost. So yes, we accept eggshells, but we, we ask people to, uh, to crush it before putting it uh, in the compost. Okay. So okay. It will not really compost, but we, we take it in the in in the in the mix. Yeah. Is my answer clear? Or? Yeah, it is. It is. It's it's perfect. Uh, the smaller, the better, and to use the the uh, calcium and, and whatsoever from from the eggshells. Uh, the other one is the Terzane Haslova says hello, uh, Jean Jacques. So uh, I'm. Passing that, that to you. And so what are the most common problems and stereotypes about composting you have to deal with? Uh, the first one, of course, is that uh, compost is thinking. Bad, bad, uh, bad smells. Uh, and it's not true. If, uh, if, you, if you follow the rules that we give, your compost will never uh, smell. And of course, the first rule, the most important is to, to do a balance between the green stuff, your food waste, and the brown stuff that we, you will add to do this balance. So the food stuff, the, the ideal uh, food uh, brown stuff uh, is of course the wood, uh, wood, wood chips, uh, shredded wood, but you can also uh, balance with uh, some dead leaves. And so uh, in my uh, in my garden, we uh, we store uh, the dead leaves uh, in autumn, and then we we are able to to use the dead leaves to balance our our compost uh, uh, afterwards. Okay, so, thank you. So this is the first stereotype, and the second one is then uh, you cannot put uh, in the compost uh, oranges. Uh, citrus and so on and um, uh, it's not true uh, uh, as I said all the things crum uh, all the living matter could compost and also the oranges uh, and so on I've been composting uh, oranges uh, for 13 years now in my uh, garden but also uh, in all other uh, uh, compost device that I, uh, I'm in charge of, so I can uh, I can swear that uh, orange uh, oranges will uh, will compost. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, what uh, got my attention was like when you wanted to start your uh, your uh, community composting site at, at your uh, building, uh, you said that the master composter came to you and gave you some info, gave you some tips and whatsoever. Uh, although like, so it means that uh, the, the, the profession, like the, the master composter uh, existed before, yet in Paris, the, the official program started after <laughs> your, your, your community composting site. So uh, like, uh, do, you have, do you have an info like for how long the master composter profession actually exists because that's that's quite surprising that like in the city like that uh, they started like 10 years ago but the profession existed before in fact uh, at this time there was only one one uh, one people uh, one one girl uh, doing this job in paris and at this time uh, when you wanted to to follow a, a course or to become a master composter we had to go in belgium so I went to Belgium uh, uh, at this time to to become a, to become a, a master composter. Now, of course, you, now of course in France, now you can uh, be uh, you can be teach uh, as a master composter in France. But at that time, uh, many of us uh, went to to Belgium because there was a sort of uh, uh, training center uh, there uh, called the Comité Jean Pain. 
I, I don't know if you heard about uh, Jean Pain, but uh, it was a guy uh, in the 60s. He, he did some, um, some big compost pile in the south of France. And uh, he, uh, he, ha he had some uh, water pipes uh, in, the, in, the piles, in the piles. And um, he was eating his house uh, with uh, this system. And okay. he, gave his, he gave his name to to this training uh, center in uh, in Belgium. Okay, but let me stay with, with me with your uh, community composting. Uh, you, you've mentioned that it took you quite a long time to persuade to convince uh, the public housing uh, department to allow you to have have the the composters uh, at uh, at the uh, at your place. So, what was the biggest problem? Like, what was the the biggest obstacles that like the, the things you had to persuade them about? Like, wh uh, why why did it took so long, basically? It, it was never done, so um, they were scared. They, they were scared, of course. Um, um, so I had to convince them. Um, in fact, you know, uh, we were in 2007, but um, I could, uh, perhaps I could convince them because uh, in the town of Rennes, which is quite a big town in France, R-E-N-N-E-S, they already launched this project in 2006. So I did a sort of uh, copy and paste of this project and I could show them that uh, uh, it already exists and uh, it's, uh, uh, it works. Okay. Uh, I will like uh, use the opportunity that I have Sonia here uh, because like for me, I've, I've been to Paris but I've never mentioned like how many community gardens, gardens and uh, compost uh, sites there are but you visited Paris with colleagues from Cocosa and uh, focused basically on, on composting and, and uh, matter. Uh, so is it for me like when I was listening to Jean-Jacques it really uh, I imagined like that there is compost uh, <laughs> everywhere like uh, at every corner and there are a lot of public gardens so so uh, what's what's what was your impression basically yeah actually we have visited Paris uh, last year in January with my colleagues and yeah we, we have visited several community gardens um, actually we informed them like uh, before we went to Paris and we like planned a uh, appointment uh, meeting with uh, with deputies of these community gardens so we made several interviews with them and uh, it was very inspiring. We have also visited one community garden, which was on the top, uh, on the roof of the post office. So it's something what we really uh, uh, love to see in, in Prague or in the Czech Republic, some community garden on the roof. And yeah, um, actually, as I'm focusing mainly on composting, I was very interested in Czech community composting. And uh, that's also how we met uh, Jean-Jacques. So he, he showed us uh, uh, several places with community composters. And actually, we uh, inspired uh, by his project. Uh, and last year, we started a project of community composting in one of the department of city of Prague. It's Prague 3. And um, we put there five community composters uh, into public sector, actually. So they are all also accessible by community who is involved. Uh, actually, today there is about 200 households who are composting so, so it, it helped us to introduce some um, like practical ideas of community composting from Paris to here, because uh, actually in Paris I realized uh, how important is uh, brown stuff, as Jean Jacques said, like um, some sawdust or uh, some uh, like wooden materials uh, you have to add to the compost. So we are really trying to work with this and. Make Maybe I would like to ask Jean Jacques, like, uh, if you have, um, do you have any recommendation how to prevent flies in community composters? 
it's something uh, what uh, we will probably deal with uh, as the summer and spring is coming and all the fresh organic waste is like um, very attractive for fruit flies and um, uh, I would like to be ready for that and maybe give some recommendations to the community compost composters uh, so I would be happy for your advice yeah so <clears throat> of course yeah we you I, I don't say that you will never have some flies in your compost uh, compost container but to prevent them um, the the order the order is important first you drop your food waste second you mix with the old compost and then you will cover with the uh, brown stuff with the um, uh, with a shredded uh, shredded wood uh, because most of the time people they 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 put their food waste um, add the brown stuff and then mix and if you finish by mixing you will uh, have some fresh food on top of it. And of course the flies will come uh, on top of that. So it's important to do, I drop off my food waste, then I mix, and finally I will recover with the brown stuff. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, we, we will definitely try this. I will try to inform the community. Yeah, I think that covering of that fresh uh, um, organic waste is uh, might might work, like to cover uh, the material and protect it against uh, flies. Yeah, we will definitely try that. Actually, in one place uh, where we have this community composter, we are experimenting with adding um, uh, ash from wood because one of the local master of compost who is responsible for this composter, he has access to wooden ash from, from his garden. So we are trying this. And actually what I heard from him, like his first feelings are that it might work because it's, um, it's uh, creating such a uh, complex cover uh, and maybe it, it can also like cover the fresh organic waste. I, I think it's not a good idea. You mean uh, you mean ash uh, the the the, um, the wood which yes. is burnt? Yeah, for me it's not a good idea because first ash uh, ashes are m m mineral, mm -hmm. uh, so it will not uh, compost, and uh, um, it will um, there will there, there will be no uh, oxygen uh, coming uh, in the in the food mix. If you had some ashes on top, uh, it will not. It, it could not be. Uh, it could no more uh, aerate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I understand. Yeah. Actually, we've been thinking about this, but anyway, we said that we will try just to put there really like sl slight layers of that. But I I, yeah. I know and thank you for for your uh, comment. Yeah. In 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 the past, uh, in the past, I. Uh, I, I was uh, recommending that, and then I realized it's not. It was not so 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 good. But of course, if you do it, it's a very a very slight uh, um, uh, lay of uh, ashes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And I, I, the, the best the best the best uh, to use ashes is to put them directly in your in your garden, of course. Okay, okay, thank you. And I would have one more question. Actually, you said that um, the community in one of the composting place, they, um, they fill the, the container in one month, like 30 days. It's quite a short time. And I would like to know how long is the process for maturing, for maturation of the compost? Yeah. Of course, it depends on the places. Uh, in some places, we, we fill in a, a container in one month, but in some other places, sometimes in, in, it's in three months. But usually downstairs, um, downstairs uh, apartment buildings, we got some uh, mature compost in uh, eight, eight months. Uh, in neighborhood um, devices, because uh, the, the volume is uh, higher, it could be ready in uh, six months. That's it. 
and uh, in your private garden most of the time uh, it will take uh, one year you know yeah. the, mo the most volume you have the most uh, heating you have and uh, the the quicker you get some uh, mature uh, compost yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, actually, in Prague tree, uh, where we have the, those community composters, like um, in some places which are very like, um, uh, which are, which have been like um, full even before we started the project. So there we have like 50 households in one site. And uh, they are very quick also with uh, creating organic waste. So it takes about two, three months uh, when they fill one container. So then it's a time when we have to come and uh, dig it to the other container. Yeah. So then it's starting the time for maturing. But actually uh, now we have uh, already, I think it's about six months and we are supposed to um, to take a final compost. But actually we're thinking that we will try to postpone it for a few more months to to give the time for maturation to the compost so actually we are now in this moment and waiting how the final compost uh, will look either either you had another container either you you transfer the nearly mature compost outside and just put uh, uh, something on top of it uh, so it will finish its maturation uh, uh, on the ground. But yeah. you have to, co to cover it to prevent it from uh, rain. Uh. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you for your insight. I really love it. This is like knowledge transfer online in real time uh, from Prague to, to, to Paris or from Paris to Prague. Uh, maybe one, one more question, probably one, one of the last. Like, uh, we definitely have a lot of uh, to learn from from your experiences. Uh, do you have some some place when you get the inspiration? Some other cities uh, you've mentioned, uh, Ren, that they started like uh, the community uh, composting uh, before before your 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 own. Uh, you've mentioned that you you went to Belgium uh, to get the, the course of, for for master composter. So, what are the places to look at to to get an inspiration from? Or, or, or is it is Paris, you know, the uh, top leader in composting in Europe? Now, in fact, um, my inspiration is to to go to see other places, especially in France. Um, uh, in now, in mainly uh, all the, the the big towns in France, uh, we do some community composting. As I told you, I belong to this uh, special NGO. So we share together, we have a Google group, so we, we, we share ideas, we share uh, questions, and we go uh, to do uh, meetings uh, in every uh, town uh, in France. So we, we go and visit some other sites and we steal uh, good ideas. Uh, and, uh, but uh, uh, in fact, now we nearly all work on the same way uh, with the one or the wood, uh, with uh, shredded wood, one box for to drop and one box for uh, maturation. Um, I did um, uh, a special visit in England a few years ago, but uh, I did not, uh, uh, I've, I've not seen a uh, thing very interesting uh, there. Um, and in, Bel in Belgium, uh, of course, they used to have these. Uh, a special training center, but uh, I think that really that France is uh, uh, on the on the top uh, uh, experience uh, uh, places. Great, so we're lucky we had one of the experts here here uh, at the festival. Jean Jacques, thank you very much for for uh, your presentation. Thank you for connecting with us. Hopefully, next time uh, uh, we can do this knowledge transfer more like in a practical way. We will, we will uh, maybe meet at, at Prague, Prague 3 and, and uh, uh, show you uh, what, what uh, they achieved there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your time. It was a pleasure to share with you and 
uh, I hope I could come uh, in a real person uh, next time and to to see the the community uh, sites you already uh, launched in uh, in Prague. Okay, merci, uh, à bientôt. Yeah, take care. Thank you. <laughs> Já teď přepnu zase, zase do Češtiny jenom na závěr. Děkujeme, že jste sledovali, tak doufáme, že to bylo přínosné. My se váže líbilo, jak na začátku se tady začaly vyměňovat ty zkušenosti z těch jednotlivých kompostovacích míst. Samozřejmě ta přednáška bude, jak jsem říkal, nahraná, bude už za chvíli po té, co skončíme, vlastně online k dispozici až do konce května, takže pokud vám něco uniklo, tak se na to můžete zase podívat. Už vidíte na obrazovce náš QR kód, naši QR platbu. Pokud se vám festival líbí, pokud se vám líbí, co dělá Kokoza, chtěli byste pomoct kolegyním s jejich další prací, tak budeme velmi rádi, když využijete této příležitosti, stačí naskenovat a poslat nějakou malou finanční podporu. Je tam přednastavená nějaká částka, ale samozřejmě budeme rádi za jakýkoliv příspěvek. Myslím si, že i ta zkušenost tady z Paříže ukázala, že je to prospěšná věc se starat o kompostování, o komunitní zahrady a podobně, že toho využívá čím dál tím víc lidí, takže budeme rádi, když je třeba i s tímto trochu pomůžete. My tady teď se za chviličku už odpojíme. Program samozřejmě pokračuje dál, až do neděle tento týden, potom to bude všechno zase online. My se tady sejdeme zase ve 13 hodin, budeme se bavit o tom, jak se pěstuje CSR konkrétně v Kauflandu. Budeme tady mít zástupce společnosti, jak se budeme bavit o komunitních zahradách, o mizích hotelích a podobně. Takže pokud máte zájem a pokud máte čas třeba k obědu si nás pustit, tak máte příležitost. Sodě moc krát děkuji, že jste byl se mnou. Já moc děkuji za pozvání. A my se budeme těšit zase u nějaké další session. Mějte se.